DLSS 4 is now available in Rust, and based on what I've seen in other games, it's been a serious step forward in both performance and image quality. So naturally, I had to test it here and see if it holds up. In this video, I'll be comparing DLSS 4 to native rendering with TSSAA, using the high graphics preset, breaking down both visual fidelity and FPS gains. I'll also walk you through how to enable DLSS 4 for Rust using the NVIDIA app. So let's jump into it. DLSS 4 is a huge leap over DLSS 3, not just visually, but technically. It uses a new transformer-based model that packs four times the commute and double the parameters in the same frame time versus DLSS 3 CNN model. Basically, this means a sharper, cleaner, and most importantly, more stable image. To enable DLSS 4 for Rust, open the NVIDIA app and make sure your graphics drivers are up to date. Go to the Graphics tab, then select Rust. Scroll down to DLSS Override Model Presets. Choose Latest from the drop-down menu under Use Same Settings for All DLSS Technologies, or set Latest for just Super Resolution below it. Hit Apply and you're good to go. So we'll take a look at a few scenes to compare visual quality and FPS between native TSSAA and DLSS 4. First up is a beach scene with a lot of foliage at medium and long distances. I'm having a hard time telling the difference between the two. Even zoomed in, it's hard to spot any differences. DLSS 4 and TSSAA look nearly identical to me, but in terms of performance, DLSS 4 does deliver noticeably higher FPS in this scene. Next we have a dense jungle scene packed with foliage across all ranges. Again, visually it's really tough to tell the two apart, even when zoomed up close, it's really difficult to tell a difference. However, DLSS 4 once again offers a good solid FPS boost. One thing I did notice here in this scene specifically was a bit of shadow flickering, and it got worse when using lower DLSS super resolution settings. I didn't really notice this actively while playing, but during testing, it was clear in this specific scene. So while image quality is nearly identical, I really can't tell the difference between the two. I did notice a bit of shadow flickering when using DLSS. Here we have a grassy scene and visually it's extremely close. I can't really tell the difference when I zoom in. Again, very hard to tell any difference, but this was the one odd case where DLSS 4 actually had worse FPS than TSSAA. Really not sure why. If you've got a theory on that, let me know in the comments. Now at the outpost, I got close to an NPC to check character detail. From a normal distance, again, DLSS 4 and TSSAA looked basically the same. Zooming in, I did notice something interesting here. The threading on his face covering showed visual kind of jittering with TSSAA, but remained much more stable with DLSS 4. I especially noticed it when the character was swaying back and forth. DLSS preserved the detail better and remained more stable in motion. Then I moved on to a scientist at the outpost. Again, the two modes look nearly identical. Zoomed in, the scientist's outfit looks the same, but I could just barely tell the difference in the background details like power lines and barbed wire. But zoomed back out, honestly, there was really little to no real world impact for me. So is DLSS 4 worth using in Rust? Absolutely in my opinion. Across nearly every scene I tested, DLSS 4 provided noticeably better performance with virtually no visual drop off, even when using balanced or performance mode compared to native resolution with TSSAA. Textures stay sharp, detail holds up even in motion, and overall image stability is excellent. Because DLSS renders at a lower internal resolution, GPU usage typically drops which can lead to lower temps and power draw. Not a massive change, but definitely a nice side benefit, especially in longer sessions, and for the overall life of the card. The only real drawback I noticed was minor shadow flickering in certain environments with heavy foliage, but it was subtle and didn't affect gameplay. On the other hand, character clothing detail looked better with DLSS 4, 
It had less flicker and jittering and was more stable than TSS AA. If you're currently running an RTX GPU, I definitely recommend trying DLSS 4 out for yourself. It's very easy to enable through the Nvidia app. Even in performance mode, I could barely tell the difference visually versus native, but the FPS gains are pretty good. If you found this helpful, drop a like and let me know in the comments if you're using DLSS 4 and subscribe for more performance deep dives like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.